What's crack a lacking, YouTube? All right. So I saw this video, and this is uh, uh, an existing story that's been out, um, but apparently the video has been suppressed for some time, about eight or nine months, and uh, it's a pr police brutality video. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to a, uh, a channel here on YouTube that I subbed to a while ago called Cops Out of Control. Periodically, this individual, whoever runs the channel, puts um, <clears throat> stuff caught on tape um, out about police clear, um, <laughs> clear video of police brutality, um, violence, um, basically breaking the law um, by our own police departments in various cities. So, <clears throat> there's this young boy named Chad Holly. okay? Now, Chad Holly was a burglary suspect. Um, and uh, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he was found guilty, okay, uh, in October of 2010 for stealing cash jewelry and a keyboard from a Houston townhouse, okay? Now, he's put on probation. Now, let's just, I, I, I'm going to show the video because I wanted to prompt this and show how disgusting this particular situation. I mean, many of these are disgusting. And, and, and let me be clear. This, look, I don't care if the boy... I, Let's, let's make something very clear. He was convicted of stealing cash and jewelry, yes. That made him a criminal, yes. But he was a 15-year-old boy, okay? Now, when you watch the video, I'm going to let you watch the video, and then we'll talk afterwards. How's that? Burglar Chad Holly was trying to make a run for it. He's clipped by a police car. On the ground, he clearly puts his arms out in the surrender pose, then folds his arms behind his head before police move in. But look what happens next. The first officer stomps on his head. He's repeatedly kicked. We count four officers doing the kicking. Then one officer lands five separate kicks. It looks like the kicks are landing on Holly's head. You'll see more kicks. Holly has been on the ground, cops on top of him, all around him, for about 20 seconds. And then another police officer lands five heavy punches. The officer who did the kicking in the beginning does it again, this time from behind. Then he stomps on the back of Holly's legs. Then just before Holly is picked up to be taken to a patrol car, there's another lick. The first showing of the uh, video will be in a courtroom, sir. But now we're making the video public, months after the DA, the police chief, and the mayor refuse to let you see it. Okay. So, that's the footage, right? So, first and foremost, let me say, The fact that the boy was an alleged, at the time, alleged criminal, but a burglary suspect, whether he was convicted or not, okay, now we all know he was convicted. Um, now, there's nothing in there about armed robbery, no guns, no weapons, no drugs, so let's not get carried away. People have a tendency to get carried away in their own little fantastical ways, right? So this boy, he's a boy. is running, probably from the scene. Now, if you looked at the video, I don't know about you, but I didn't see no no keyboard fall out of his hands. I didn't see a whole bunch of cash and, and jewelry fall out of his pockets. Okay, he wasn't carrying a whole, he wasn't doing this, okay? So, he either ditched it or he had it on his person, whatever. So, first and foremost, he was hit by a moving police car. All right? So, after that, more than likely, his leg hurt like a motherfucker. So he realized, okay, I've been hit by a police car. Here come the cops. I'm going to give up. Rolls over. Boom. Hands up. Hands up. What do hands up mean? What's the universal sign for hands up? I give up. 
Okay? I give up. Now, whether he was just exhausted or hurt or he was giving up, either way, automatically, hands in the air, no sight of a weapon, as far as the police know. Now, I can understand if they came out with their guns drawn, cautiously, stood back, cautious weapons, came up slow, did what they had to do. That's fine. No, no, no. They bum-rushed this kid, right? Secondly, not only does he have his hands up, he puts his hands behind his head, laying on his belly on the ground with his hands on his head. Now, we all know that is what the police ask you to do when they want to take you into custody. This boy, let's remember he's a boy, had his hands on his head as if to say, all right, I give up. Take me into custody. This kid isn't Rambo. He's not a special forces guy. He's not going to wait to draw the police in and then do some eight kinds of jiu-jitsu type moves to... What the fuck are these people thinking? I mean, how... uncaring and thoughtless and brutal do these individuals have to be um, to feel the need to come in and start kicking this kid, stepping on his head, kicking him multiple times as they lean down on him with all their weight, with their knees and their feet and their bodies, and then they kick him in the head a couple of times while he's good and secure, okay? Then... They take five huge shots to his side or his back or his kidneys, whatever whatever it was. It was right there on the side. Then they step on the back of his legs. They better stomp on the back of his legs just in case he tries to get up. Then they kick him again a couple times from behind. Then right before they pick him up, they kick him one more time just for good measure, just in case he wants to squirm and try to get out of custody. This is disgusting. This is some of the most disgusting shit because you know what? It happens all, all the time. Every fucking day. Every day. Every day. So many. Now, I'm not talking about all police officers, but look. Everybody has the capability to abuse this kind of power. I don't I mean, how many times, now we're talking about different situations here, so please don't let the straw manning begin, but how many times do you see um, cops abusing their power in little ways? Um, whether it's harassment or whether they're driving down the road 90 miles an hour on the highway, no lights, no sirens, just because they have the ability to get where the fuck they want to go without doing anything. Or they're talking on the cell phone in cities that have no cell phone, have cell phone restrictions behind the wheel. Oh, well, probably, it's probably for the job. Even when they're laughing and joking and sucking down a coffee, sitting on the side of the road. Sure. Must be police work. Hard at work, Mr. Policeman. Now, I'm not talking about all cops, but I'm talking about a lot of fucking cops. Okay? These people, these brutal, bully motherfuckers that decide to stay in police work, do police work or stay in police work because they love the power. They love the authority. They love to be able to exert their will, their power, their authority, and control over you. That's why many of these individuals do it, and that's why they abuse the law. These police officers broke the law, like so many other fucking police officers all over the country every day do. Let me remind you of the deaf woodworker we saw not too long ago. I believe it might have been, it could have been this channel. I think it was this channel. Or Junior Bacon Chi. He puts out a lot of police brutality stuff too. Um, great channel, by the way. I highly recommend him. About a deaf woodworker who had a knife who was walking across the street whittling. Okay? This is a man fifth generation woodworking, had business all over the city he was in, had a knife whittling, a cop got out of his car, approached the man, told him to drop the knife, he's deaf, he's fucking deaf, now, he may have been a little inebriated too, that remains to be seen, but he's deaf, he's told multiple times to drop the knife, he doesn't even turn around, and he's shot dead on the scene, shot dead. 
Not even paying attention. How about the, uh, uh, the, the clearly mentally, the gentleman who had some sort of mental problem or psychological problem in the wheelchair, who was riding around, I, I, they said he had a knife, he's in the middle of the street and he's approaching a police officer, <clears throat> he's wheeling himself around, the police officer comes up with a shotgun drawn, okay, Apparently tells the guy to drop the knife, stop moving, whatever he does. Shoots him point blank range in the fucking crotch. With a shotgun. A guy in a wheelchair. Huh. Whether he could walk or not, he didn't make any attempt to lunge at the police officer. He wasn't being violent. You could see it clearly on the video. These are all backed by video. It, it's disgusting to me. It's fucking disgusting and I'm sick of it. This is a topic that burns me bad. I mean it just it it strikes me deep. There's all there's there's certain issues that really stoke my fire and I'm telling you brutality and violence especially some of these police forces police departments because that's what it is. Many of these are becoming militarized. Okay, many of these police police forces, police departments have already become militarized. All right, Our, uh, everything wrapped up into Homeland Security and Patriot Act and all this other shit in the sake of the war against terror and all these other all this other smoke and mirrors bullshit, the war on drugs and all these other fucking marketing campaigns that they want you to believe are real and that you actually have something to do with and can contribute to. Hello? Hello? Is anybody is anybody listening? I know there's a lot of you out there listening. I'm not talking to the ones who are listening. But these fucking people deserve to be tried. I'll tell you what. I'm going to get five or six people that I know <coughs> that are willing to roll with me. I'm going to get in a couple of cars. I'm going to find me a cop. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say... Watch this. I'll get him. I'm going to clip that son of a bitch. I'm going to take his legs right out. I'm going to drop him. Then we're going to get out of the car. Yeah. We're going to roll up on him. And then we're going to kick the shit out of him. What do you think of that? How, how would that go over? If five guys rolled up, clipped a cop, and just started kicking the shit out of him? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you're right. He's not a suspect. She's not a burglary suspect. Who gives a fuck? He's a human being. He wasn't violent. He wasn't threatening. He was running. He was running. When was the last time clipping a suspect who's running with no weapon, who isn't a, a threat, considered to be a threat, since when is clipping him with a car acceptable police measures? You tell me. So after we clip him, we're going to kick the shit out of him. And then when he begs begs us to stop, we're going to kick the shit out of him some more. Then we're going to bang his head against the concrete, maybe throw him in the back of our car, give him a couple shots with a, uh, a homemade nightstick in the gut, you know, make him bleed a little, then drop him off on his own doorstep. <clears throat> Let's see what happens to us then. We would be prosecuted and thrown in jail so fast it would make our heads spin. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. And the only reason you go, you go with it, you accept it, and you fucking swallow it is because they use individuals who are lawbreakers or criminals. They use that... To their advantage to sucker you into thinking that it's okay. Well, it's not okay. It's not fucking okay. Now, that's just my two cents worth. Anybody wants to comment, wants to do a video response, please feel free. I would be happy to discuss it.